guys, I am back and I am so sorry that I have been MIA and that there hasn't been a video weekly posted since the last video. Life happened unfortunately and like I always tell you guys, you just gotta go day by day and there's just some stuff that came up in life. So I'm sorry about that, but let's get to the next video of the intuitive eating series, exercising to feel the difference. Alright, so how have you guys loved this intuitive eating series? Like, how have you been feeling about it? Have you been working through things? Have you been gaining anything from it? I want to hear in the comments below what you've changed, what you've realized about yourself, anything. Because I am just hoping that this series has helped you in one way or another, or at least someone that you've shared it with. Also, something super exciting, along with the book that I've published on my story, I'm working on a free webinar that is going to be talking about the nutrition myths that you need to stop believing in order to have a free, healthy lifestyle. So if you want to be a part of that webinar, I will be sending out an email to people once I've come more along the way with it. So there will be a link in the description below, so just click the link down below and that will lead you to putting in your email somewhere where you can sign up so that you will get an email notification when I send out the email about the webinar. So don't forget to do that. But now on to exercising to feel the difference. A lot of times we get so caught up in the sense of, oh, I have to exercise or, oh, like I have to do 30 minutes or I have to burn this many calories on the treadmill or elliptical. And that is such the wrong mindset and it's gonna make you hate living a healthy lifestyle when it should be something that you find fun and something that you want to be doing, that you look forward to. For me, I would have never thought that I would be getting up at 4.30 in the morning for a 5 a.m. class, but I have come to just love the feeling of working out so early and being done so early and like the people at my gym that I just love to be around that I enjoy waking up at 4.30 in the morning. I don't ever say like, oh, I have to wake up at 4.30 in the morning. I am like so excited going to bed knowing that I get to wake up and do that workout with those people. So that is what I want for you guys. Like I want you guys to find something that you love so much that it isn't something you have to do, but it's something that you want to do. And you know, this comes to back again, listening to your body. If you feel exhausted, if you had a long day, if you're just emotionally depleted and you need a break, don't make yourself work out. Don't make yourself feel guilty about not working out. Don't let yourself feel that way. You have to listen to your body and there's a lot of days where you know, I'm exhausted, I'm tired, I didn't get in my 10,000 steps according to like my little monitor and that's okay because you know, every day is gonna be different and you have to be okay and know that I'm gonna typically work out, yes, because it makes me feel good and it makes me alive and it makes me energized. But if I don't feel like working out, then I don't have to work out. Because as soon as you get into this unhealthy mindset of I have to work out and I have to do it because of my health or because I have to burn this many calories, you're getting into an unhealthy lifestyle and an unhealthy mindset and it's not gonna be a freeing way to live. You have to get to a point where you realize like after a workout, wow, I feel so amazing. So now remember that feeling so that next time when I'm trying to convince myself to work out, it's more based on the I'm gonna feel so good after this and I'm going to be more energized for my friends or my family or whatever, or just to get things done yourself. Instead of being like, oh, I have to work out because otherwise I'm gonna get fat or otherwise I'm just not gonna be able to eat or something like that. So that is the mindset I wanna get you guys into. So I'm just challenging you guys this week to every time that you work out, feel the difference. Like. Ask yourself like, okay, like I'm feeling so much better now that I worked out. Or just like note to yourself how you feel after the workout. Because no, like I guess I love like waking up at 4.30 to work out. But it's more of like, I know afterwards I'm gonna feel so good and I, then I won't have to worry about it the rest of the day. And I'm actually more energized when I go to five versus eight. So I'm gonna do it. It's not, oh, like I need to burn calories so I'm gonna go to the gym. 
So if you catch yourself thinking that way or catch yourself thinking more of the I have to versus I want to because of blank, then that's where you have to catch yourself and stop yourself right now. I want you to write down a list of why you love to work out. What makes you feel different? Like what difference do you feel afterwards? And then use that as a motivation tool versus looking at super skinny or edited photos on Instagram or Facebook or Pinterest. Like don't let that be your motivation. That's not fitspiration or I don't know what fitspiration is. If you saw my video on fitspiration, I, I just don't agree with it. Um, but <laughs> health is at every size and so I don't want you to get caught in the mindset of I have to work out to be skinny or to lose weight. Because as soon as you get into that mindset, it's gonna destroy all happiness and all joy that goes into working out and just living a healthy and active lifestyle. So let me know in the comments below how the last video helped you and what steps you've taken for accepting your genetic blueprint. As always, click the thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe if you aren't already, and until next time guys, don't forget to comment below what steps you're going to take this week to exercise to feel the difference versus just to lose some weight.